Hello and welcome from Storytelling with Veena. Have you ever seen a goat on a bed, a cow on a table jigging and dancing? Then I think you like the story. Today's story is called A Squash and a Squeeze. You might recognize some names on the book. Our author is Julia Donaldson and illustrator is Axel Scheffler. Now on the cover I can see some farm animals. I wonder what they are up to and what's going to happen in our story. I am so excited children as much as me I think you'll be excited as well. Well now we are going to start reading straight away. A squash and a squeeze. Let's see what happens with all the squashing and squeezing. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and growls. That's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. So she complains to the wise old man. What does the old man say? Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen. What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped around the room knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was spooky for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, glory be, it was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goats got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig, what a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen and raiding Lara again and again. The little old lady cried, stop, I implore. It was teachy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. The little old lady cried, heavens alive, it was teeny for four and a sweeney for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. 
So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better. At last I can sneeze again. She showed out the goat and she showed out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house. It's enormous now. Thank you old man for the work you have done. It was weeny for five. It's gigantic for me. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle diddies. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle diddies. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. That wise man helped, but he actually didn't do too much. That poor old lady felt so squashed in a house, but actually it turns out she did have space. What a funny story with all those animals squashing and squeezing inside the room. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you liked it, please click the like button. See you soon with another story. Bye.